Okay. Hey YouTube, welcome to my Fresh Off The Hook Tuesday. Um, I did finish the uh, the hat for my customer at work. Um, it was a beret. She wanted a black and white beret to match the black and white poncho that I made for her a couple of weeks ago. Well, remade for her a couple of weeks ago. Um, and here's the finished product. Um, I gave it to her today and she, she, um, you know, she was like, she likes it. Cause I had already sent her some pictures of it and, um, she liked it. And when she saw it in person, she said she liked it, but she was going to wait till she got home to try it on it, model it and all this stuff. So, um, I think she would let me know. I told her to let me know if it's not long enough or whatever. So, um, I'm sure she will let me know because I went to school with her. And um, she kind of outspoken, so she will tell me if she don't like it or not. Um, and after I completed that, I, I remembered that I have to do a swap. I'm in this swap. And got these butterflies. Yeah, I made a whole bunch of these butterflies. I think I have to do, I think 10 and all. I think 10 and all. Because I'm part of a swap that's uh, sponsored by um, these. That's another baby. Have a seat. <laughs> uh, these Crochet Creation. She um, is over the swap. And I'm gonna give you her. Um, if you don't already know her, I give you the link to her YouTube page, a link to her um, Facebook fan page, and I think it's a link to. You're gonna show everybody the butterfly. I'm gonna tell. Okay, and then a link to the Square Swap family page. Um. And the thing was, we had, the, we had, I think it's like three things. One was spring, one was Easter, and one was just plain, which you could be, it could be anything. So I chose spring. And um, I think some of the ladies in the group, you know, decided to do flowers or um, just use spring looking colors. I decided to do butterflies and since I'm going to be sending just one square to each one of the people who are in the swap I figure I make them all different color you know each one of them a different color so uh, the originally I was going to use a pattern from this site called I think crochet and more it's a, it's a blog and what it was going to end up being, see how this is? The the butterfly was going to be like embedded in there. You see the pink part? This is like the bottom part of it. I'm going to show you a picture of how it would have looked if I hadn't finished it. But the thing is, for the swap, our squares can only be six inches. And silly me, I didn't read the pattern. As far as the size before I got started, and I just looked at it a few minutes ago, and it said it was going to be like the square was going to be like seven, seven and a half inches. Now I crochet kind of loose, so instead of the seven and a half inches that the pattern says, uh, nine inches, <laughs> so that's way off. So I was like, now, now I got a book. I need to show it to you guys. I may put a uh, picture of it. But I had this book that shows different designs for granny squares. Now, I thought about it. I was like, I'm going to be putting these butterflies on there, so there's no, and, and it, so it's going to cover up any design that I put on the square. So there's no sense in even um, making anything really fancy. So what I decided to do was just make 
a regular granite square. Now, just this regular granite square is not six inches. It is five inches. Five and a half inches. Exactly. You're a smart guy. It is five and a half inches. So I was like, now looking at how tall each one of the rows are, that's one inch. So I'm like, I already got half inch. I already got five and a half inches. I gotta make it six inches. But not too much over six inches. So what am I gonna do to make it six inches? So I went around the uh, square. I think I did half double crochet around it. So it's a little bit over six inches. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit over six inches. And I think I can get away with it. So, you know, my trimming that I the half double crochet around it matches the butterfly. So I've completed this one and this one and this one. And like I say, I'm going to do each one of them are going to be different colors. And you saw the orange one. The yellow. You just you they didn't see the yellow. Yellow. Then it's like a multicolored blue and green and pink. Hot pink. Hot and pink. Like I say, I think I got to do ten. So I got some more colors I'm gonna do. And um, I'll be able to show them to you guys next week before I mail them out. Um, but. Other than that, that's about it. Um, I'm pretty much going to try to go ahead and finish these up because the swap should be done by April 1st. And even though I got a little time left, I want to go ahead and get it done because I will forget. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to, I got some ponchos. Some people want ponchos. They still want ponchos. It's getting hot and they still want ponchos. So I got to work on them. But, uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and um, please comment, please, please uh, rate, please subscribe, and also check out the rest of the Fresh Off the Hook family. And um, you know, if you want, if you feel like you can crochet, you know, pretty good. I don't care if you're a beginner or um, very experienced. Uh, please contact. One virtuous woman.